Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Reddit, do our weekly Reddit review, and I'm pretty excited for it because it's been a bit since I've actually been over there, and I'm just curious what uh, everyone has been up to. It does seem like Dreamlight Valley is in a little bit of a slow period, so it's really up to the community to create our own challenges, you know, our own conversations, discussions, and uh, I'm really excited to dive into it. Now, as promised, you guys completely smashed my goal of 500 likes on my video from the other night so i'm gonna share with you my dream snap submission you're actually kind of looking at the setup right now and my submission for chill summer is this one right here i don't know if it fully fits the theme but i kind of just did a like winter like summer type of vibe for the background blue versus red i uh, got my character with pretty high tags they're over 10 i don't remember the exact ones they're like 10 and 11 I tried to make her look as like a mystical and magical and as beautiful as I could. I have like the beach bottom and then the beach top from the premium shop. And then I got the wings on the back to kind of help illuminate and add some glow, kind of like the uh, moon and then the blue side over here. So it's kind of like a blue side and everything on the back of my character. And then on the front right here is kind of more towards this side. And then I have a little feast going on with the little snowman plushie and then the little Simbas on this side. I wanted to add some more like a uh, winter effects bleeding into the right side here. I got a little surfboards, some palm trees. And um, yeah, this is what I came up with. I'm pretty happy with it. I actually went ahead and did a second submission like for my second account. And that one was a little bit more of a struggle just because I didn't have a lot of items on there. But this one I did even faster mainly because I already had an idea and I just threw together what I had. So this is it right here. I did manage to capture the little like wind wisp over here. So I was pretty proud of that. And then I just have the snowman with a little campfire. I got the Simbas here. Obviously didn't have a bunch of the star path items that I had from the previous picture. So I just threw some vine lamps on this side. Got some blue glow over here. And uh, yeah, that's my submission. So thank you guys for sharing with me all of your submissions. And I wanted to share um, my submission. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go take a look at Scrooge's shop. Alrighty, what do we have? I have all of this stuff. Ooh, we got a rounded pale wood wardrobe. I'll take it, I'll take it. And, oh wait, I thought I already had this. Norwegian spruce. Oh, so it's probably another item. It's just a different type of wood, maybe. Um, I always have all that stuff over here. I got this, I got this, I have everything on this side. A new shower, these are like my first time actually getting the showers. I got one the other day and now I have this one. Definitely have that wall, have this. And I don't think I've ever seen this floor, Radiant Flower Tiling from Encanto. Another one of these, this one's the green terrazzo. I think I have the blue and the white and then I have a wooden chevron floor. Alrighty, let's go take a look at Reddit see what's going on so we're just gonna start at the very top uh for this week 1.2 thousand upvotes someone asked finally someone asked the question said hey uh vanelope says hey did your parents name you scar or did you change your name after you got the scar <laughs> oh shots fired dang vanelope woke up and chose violence today that is crazy uh, thank you, Vanellope. This has bugged me since 1994. Someone said, but what did he answer that he would eat her if she didn't <laughs> leave him alone? I thought this was supposed to be a kid's game. Uh, that doesn't surprise me one bit, but at least someone confronted him. I agree. The fact that they actually included that dialogue, Gameloft is a wild for that. I do wish they would have gave him like some interactable dialogue with it or at least the answer i guess nobody really knows the answer but i'm pretty sure they were just writing the character whenever they drew up scar gave him a scar and they were like you know what let's just name him scar all right with also 1.2k votes okay i take it back this might be one of the best premium shops uh shop sets ever the octopus moves it's so cool yeah, this item was definitely cool. I was surprised with how cheap it was with it only being like 2,000 Moonstones. To me, that was pretty crazy when, you know, I feel like honestly, this should have been more uh, like a higher price item. And then the manor house that we got should have been a lot cheaper. Now, I am happy that we got it for only 2,000 because your boy is Moonstone broke. I'm just surprised based on like how 
big this item is in comparison to the house and it seemed like with this being animated it definitely would have took more dev work i'm just shocked that it was only 2000 in that small little manor house which almost looked like a repurpose of like the palace or something was a lot cheaper for this and a lot higher for that so when it said agree but why 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 can we interact with 99% of the, why can't we interact with 99% of the decor in this game i agree you know especially I feel like if it's a premium shop item, you should always be able to interact with it. If you're paying, because you you could end up spending real money, right? So like this, you should be able to maybe even get just a couple words of dialogue if you went up here and clicked on him. And even if he didn't have like a, a voice actor or anything like that, just have a little bubble up here. Make it, the valley feel a little more alive. Make it seem like you can actually interact with it, especially if you can like build a room or whatever. And uh, if you could sit down on these, which is nice. Now you can pull up a chair, like put your own chair over here and sit down. But I agree. I think if it's a premium shop item, you should definitely be able to interact with every single one of them in some fashion, even if it's big or small. Now, some items you can, you know, like the Hollywood Tower, like uh, of terror, you can interact with that. You can turn it on or off. Those are things I love to see in the game, and I hope going forward they implement more things like that. Someone said, did I just nuke Bell with 731 votes? All right, it's seven seconds. Let's watch this real quick. They're activating. Oh, <laughs> look at Bell right here. She just gets completely blasted away. If only we could do that whenever Maui is around, then that would be the true best feature in the game. That is hilarious. <laughs> So it said, I love how she just starts trying to talk to you right before you vaporize her. <laughs> Ooh, character wishless villains. All right, we have Captain Hook. All right, let's play a little game. Let's decide what is the chance that these characters are coming to the game. So Captain Hook, are we going to get a Captain Hook DLC maybe? Is he in Skull Rock? I don't know because I feel like... Skull Rock has to be coming at some point. Like, seriously, when are they going to be starting up Act 2? And if Captain Hook is in there, they haven't announced him in the character lineup all the way up until, like, I think the DLCs and all the new updates that they've announced go up to pretty much around August. So, does that mean, like, Skull Rock, if he is in there, it's not going to happen until the second half of this year? I think Captain Hook has to be coming to the game at some point. We also have Hades. I know a lot of players want Hades added to the game. He would just, he's kind of like Ursula to me. And I think with those two together, they would have some really interesting quest lines. So I do think Hades eventually will come to the game. Uh, oh my, do we want her in the valley? <laughs> uh, as long as, you know, Cusco and Kronk come to the game and we get a dream style for Cusco's llama form then 100% bring it on. But uh, I don't know if I want her in the valley just yet. And then we have the Queen of Hearts. I'm not a super, super, super major diehard fan for Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I know a lot of players are, so would she be a good villain? Uh, I think so. They could eventually bring. Oh, wow. Maleficent. Yes, there is no way. I think they're saving Maleficent for something huge. Maleficent has to be part of like act two, right? She has to be the big bad ultimate villain in this game And there's just no way they cannot add her I can definitely see her character model and everything already added to the game And if they ever gave her a dream style what well, if they gave her like her dragon dream style or something like that That would be so cool. I want this outfit for Mike I thought that was gonna be Mike's a dream style, but they gave us uh, the one with his little like a uh, college like letterman type jacket and if they would have added this that would have been hilarious i mean he would have looked ridiculous especially in dream snaps but it would have been too funny not to include this maybe someday so i was playing peach showtime demo and oh so that's like the new um like mario game that came out on the switch and it looks like they have night thorns you know i've seen a lot of other games that have this kind of like a fey farm when i was playing fey farm they had their own equivalent of Night Thorns. I don't know if there's a lot of like stolen ideas or what's going on with that, but I don't know. I think this could just be a coincidence. I don't think they like saw the Night Thorns and then copied it, especially if Nintendo like always coming after people that copy their stuff. So surely they wouldn't do that, but then they have like the castle here and then the Night Thorns all over. It would definitely give you some flashbacks to this game for sure though. 
Here is another one. Words don't describe how happy I am to complete this. It's the rusted clock tower. So I guess it is a bit of a struggle for a lot of players still. Um, you also have those little like glitchy pouches and stuff that you can use to craft stuff easier. So you need even less ingredients. So at least they have added a lot more stuff into the game that they didn't used to have to make these quests a little bit easier. I actually liked that these things, the one quest I actually don't like was the Buzz Lightyear quest where you had to craft like his blue archway. Whenever you're a new player and you don't have a bunch of stuff, uh, getting all those flowers and stuff and then like a lot of the iron is definitely a pain. Now, at least you could go ahead and do the beast quest line and get that first and maybe it could help you a little bit, you know, get in the greenhouse. But some of those quests, I don't know, were definitely lengthy. And someone asked a good question. Am I the only one that doesn't want to put any houses in Eternity Isle? I see lots of built of houses in Eternity Isle and I feel like I'm the only one who wants to keep all the characters' houses in my valleys. I like to go to Eternity Isle only when I have to. So for me, what I am doing is I'm going to wait and fill up my entire main valley first. That's what I'm decorating. So any new premium shop houses, kind of like this one right here. I'm going to work it into a build as they come to the game. And then eventually when I'm completely full and I'm maxed out on my 6,000 item limit, I'm going to move over to Eternity Isle and start building up over there. And probably by the time I get that one finished, we will eventually get a third map, which I don't know what theme that could be, but I'm really excited for it. That's kind of how I'm working my uh, premium shop houses and just the houses and the characters that we're getting right now. And the last thing we're going to look at is this just because it is so incredible. Put that thing back where it came from. Look at this. Like, uh, it's kind of like pixel art to me. And they used a bunch of crops. It looks like, I think that's corn. They used some cotton for the eyes. And yeah, that's pretty much the two different types. But this had to have taken a very long time. Like, I love seeing this stuff added into any of the games. So the fact that... I've seen it in D Dreamlight Valley is really cool. I don't see too many people actually end up doing this, but I really love it. I think it's just really incredible and I would love to see more. I feel like maybe we should have a community like pixel art competition over in Discord. That's something I may need to bring kind of alongside Suro Snaps. But that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I super ultra appreciate you. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We're going to be doing some incredible stuff leading up until the next update. I'm thinking next update is going to be happening around the end of uh, April. So we really don't have much longer. Thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next one.